Hello, in this video, I will show how to run Stable Diffusion on your M1 Mac. Stable Diffusion is a tool that allows you to generate AI images. Stability AI, the company behind Stable Diffusion, offers an online tool called Dream Studio that allows anyone to play with AI image generation. Dream Studio is a very powerful tool, but it allows users to generate a limited number of images without buying credits. Stable Diffusion is open source software, and anyone can use it for free. Let me show you how to install the tool on your local Mac with M1 or M2 chip. We will need to install software called Diffusion B. This software runs offline and has no limits. We will need to choose a version for Apple Silicon. If you have a powerful machine, you can go for the HQ version because it will generate better images. Now we need to install the software and run it. Once you launch the app, it will start downloading the stable diffusion models. It will require additional 2 GB of your disk space for each model. Diffusion B recommends having 8 GB of free space for models. Once models are extracted, the tool is ready to use. We can enter a prompt and generate an image. But before that, I want to mention one important thing. Stable Diffusion requires a lot of RAM, so if you run it on base models like Apple MacBook Air with an M1 chip, it's better to close all other apps to speed up the generation process. For our example, we will use Text to Image Generator. Let's type a prompt and let the tool generate an image for us. As you can see, the generated image is very close to the prompt we've provided. You can click options if you want to adjust stable diffusion settings. You can change the batch size, resolution, number of steps, and guidance scale. It's possible to specify the seed number or use your own custom model. You can enable a negative prompt to specify things you don't want to see in your image. If you click styles, you will see a list of common styles people use when generating images. The tool will update the text prompt when you select a particular style from the list. Let's run text to image generator with a new style and see what the tool will create for us. On average, it takes more than a minute for stable diffusion to generate an image on my local machine. So I've decided to speed up this section in this video. As you can see, Stable Diffusion misunderstood our intention to generate a 16-bit image. But we can easily generate a new image by clicking the Generate button. You can click a hamburger icon if you want to save or upscale your image. Let's click on Styles and choose another style for our image. This time we will go for Sketch Style. Okay, this time it looks more relevant to what we want. A couple more things I want to show you. The tool also has an image to image generator, so you can generate new images using your original image as a source for the stable diffusion. And history tab contains all images you've generated using the tool, along with contextual information such as scale, number of steps, and the seed number. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. Thank you.